this is going to be a short video on the meth injection that I just installed on this Honda Civic engine that I plan to put in that airplane, the RV6A. Uh, just a brief overview of the project. Uh, but again, this is mostly going to be just about the meth injection system. You can see, and I'm sorry for the sunshine blinding you, but you can see this is a R18 1.8 liter Honda Civic engine. I've got a T3, T4 turbo on it uh, running on a test stand. Uh, I will show you another video of it running, but this video is going to be with it out running so you can actually hear what I'm saying. Uh, but on this setup, I will have uh, gauges here that you can see that manifold, RPM, wide bend, mixture meter. Let me turn it on. Um, and uh, again, this video is about the meth injection. Pretty simple reservoir here, down here. This is 50-50 water and methanol. I got a really inexpensive uh, pump here for just proof of concept testing. You'll see that I put together the wires here uh, on the pressure regulator because I want to run it at full boost. Uh, which is about 115 to 120 PSI, obviously reinforced here on the pressure side of the pump. Uh, with this is uh, actually reinforced silicone. This is uh, actually polyurethane with uh, press connect fittings. I love these fittings. Uh, but I'll probably switch to nylon for the final production run. Obviously, it comes up here to the intake plenum where I have the nozzle. I'll try to hold that so where you can see it. But uh, pretty simple. This is a uh, what's called an M2 nozzle size that goes into the plenum here just right at the same place with my blow-off valve. Uh, it runs about 150 cc's per minute or roughly two gallons per hour. Uh, and on this engine, just for the sake of discussion, I've got a uh, gear reduction unit here made by Viking Aircraft Engines, which I really like. It's running really well. And this is a warp drive prop. It's a 68 inch three-bladed ground adjustable prop. Not really enough prop for this installation, but it worked great for ground testing. Uh, I really like it. Uh, and last, but probably one of the most important thing is the EMS or the engine uh, instrument controller made by SDS EFI. Fantastic, very simple system to use for ignition and injection. Uh, I want to point out here on the window uh, that in the next video is very hard to see, but at the top you'll notice it says ET, which is engine temperature, coolant temperature. Down below is AT or air temperature, pretty self-explanatory. You'll see when I'm running this thing, which will be at 5,000 RPM and 35, 36, 37 inches of manifold pressure, you'll see it goes up to 150 degrees. Uh, I will turn on this switch and you will notice it drops, actually in this test it dropped all the way down to 23 degrees, which is a 27 degree uh, drop Fahrenheit uh, temperature for this very inexpensive simple nozzle injection system, which costs probably for me about 50 bucks uh, the way it's set up right now. I got to quick, I want to make this a short video, feel free to ask questions, uh, thanks for watching.